Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I'm going to show you all how to run a Python program in the command prompt. Now currently I'm on my computer and I'm using a Windows operating system so hopefully you too are using a Windows operating system for this. And let's go ahead and start. So for step one we want to check if Python is already installed onto the computer. So to do that, all I have to do is come down here to the command prompt, click on it, and I'm going to zoom in for everyone. Okay, and then you just type the command Python dash dash version, and then if a version comes up for you, this is an indication that Python is indeed installed onto your computer already. As you can see, I have Python 3.8.3 .3 already installed onto the computer. Okay, so if you don't see this, then you're probably going to want to install Python from the Python website. Okay, so if you're already past step one and you have Python installed, then let's go ahead and minimize this and go to step two. And in step two, I want to create a Python file. So I'm going to right click here on my desktop, click on new, and then click on text document. And I'm going to highlight that text and I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to rename this file and give it a new file extension. So I'm going to call it hello.py. And I should get a warning message once I press enter. Okay, and I do get that warning message. It says if you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? The answer is yes. Okay, so now I have my Python file. It's called hello.py. So I'm going to right click on the file and I'm going to go down and click on open with and I'm going to choose notepad and now I'm inside that file. Okay, so for this program, I'm just going to print hello world to the screen. So just type print and then single quote and then hello comma world and then single quote and then in the parentheses and I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you all just so you can see this command. All right, that's all I'm printing is this here. And I mean, that's all I'm typing. And all I will be printing to the screen is this here. Hello world. OK, so let's click on file and then click on save. And I'm going to go back to the command prompt. OK, and now let's go ahead and run the file. So I'm going to type Python and then space and then double quote. And I'm going to go to the location where that file is. So that's in my C drive under users, under my username, which is computer science. And then it's on my desktop. And then I need to give the file name here. So the file name is hello.py and then in quote or in quotation and press enter and then we see hello world printed to the screen now if for some reason this did not work for you that could mean that you don't have your environment variable set up properly if that's the case you're going to want to set up that environment variable or you can go to the location where you installed python and then run this same command so for example, I installed Python in a folder called Python 38-32 and it's on my C drive and I will show you how to get there. So all I have to do is type CD and then C colon slash Python 38-32 and press enter. And now as you can see, I'm in that location where I have Python installed. And now if I run the command Python space quotation C colon slash users slash computer science slash desktop slash hello dot py and then in quotation and press enter, it will display hello world as well for you, or at least it should. Okay. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. If I don't get to them, 
hopefully other people will and if you're not a subscriber already to the channel please become a subscriber to this channel please hit that like button and share the video and i want to give a big shout out to all the patreons or the patriots that have supported this channel i really and truly appreciate it and if you are interested in becoming a supporter of this channel as well i will leave a link to the patreon.com website so be sure to check that out and as always thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next video